It's got to be in the forefront of everyone's mind. You obviously have in the south, uh, in Gaza, where Israel is going and has started today, uh, their response to Hamas and their attempt to uh, root the terrorist threat out of Gaza. Um, of course, in the north, when you look at Hezbollah uh, in Lebanon, this is sort of what Iran does in the region. You know, Iran doesn't like to directly confront. They like to use uh, various Shia proxy groups. So whether it's Hezbollah in Lebanon, uh, there were Shia militia groups in Iraq um, in the last administration that we're attacking our embassy. Uh, they like to do this through the Houthis in Yemen. They like to fund, train, and equip terror groups to spread uh, their influence and their ideology. And the one thing that all of these countries have in common that are under Iranian influence is really, in, in many ways, they're almost failed states. You know, these are not the crown jewels anymore of the Middle East, Lebanon, Syria, places that used to be, uh, used to be where you wanted to go and travel to in the Middle East. And sadly, under Iranian influence, we have just seen them decay in terms of civil society and government infrastructure.